Good morning, everyone. Welcome once again in our studio. Today we have a very special guest, a PhD, Daria Sikorska from Environmental uh, Protection Institute. Pleasure to meet you. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. So the topic of environment and how to take care of it, how to create sustainable space around us is one of the hottest topics nowadays. Um, I would like to ask you um, what your program consists of, uh, what uh, can students do throughout the course, what it consists of, yes. Okay, so we are here to speak about a uh, master program in environmental protection, uh, which is run in English. Uh, so I would say that this program allows us to not only protect the environment, because just pure protection is not enough, but to actively take part in uh, the policy making, in bringing actual change in the environment that we live in. So we are trying to equip students with different skills and techniques ranging from uh, remote sensing, uh, spatial planning, uh, environmental research and many, many others to make this change actually happen. I think that your studies, because it's engineering, right? Uh, it's, uh, it puts an emphasis on being a lot in practice, a lot of like maybe field excursions, a lot of not only listening and watching, but also doing with your own hands, being creative. Uh, could you tell something more about this part of, of the studies? Well, so my, my judgment might be a little bit biased because myself I graduated from this uh, from this specialization in English so I've been teaching for quite some time and what I like most about it is that we have this constant change that we have to adapt to both teachers and uh, and and uh, students and uh, what I remember being most fascinated with was the ability to work in the field. So taking part in practical excursions, uh, doing actual research because most of our staff is involved in multiple international projects. So we are also trying to bring the students in to show them that what they do is actually part of something bigger. Uh, so Depending on what kind of uh, projects we are currently running, this can be excursions to Biepsha wetlands or this can be uh, doing studies around Warsaw, but all of them are very practically rooted. Um, so during those, um, those excursions and also different um practice uh, exercises uh, you're also creating projects maybe uh, what do you think like is most outstanding project that you've um, ever set your eyes on so I, I can only speak for myself but I'm also quite aware of the projects my um, my, my colleagues are running uh, the ones that I would consider to be most interesting are the ones which are uh, most interdisciplinary. So uh, very often we bring environmental sciences, social sciences, um, economical sciences in. And my favorite ones are those related to, for instance, nature-based solutions. This is like a very new fashionable word that we have to get acquainted with. It doesn't exist in Polish language yet. Uh, so one of uh, my favorite projects was the introduction of nature-based solutions uh, in Warsaw as um, greenery, um, so kind of a woodland uh, whose role was to um, collect particulate matter and clean up the air in front of the school. So this was a joint project uh, project with my colleagues and, and students. So my students, for instance, they, they also learn to write applications uh, to fight for money because this is what the future generations will have to do um, and try to change um, the environment around them. Is, you mentioned change, right? So um, I am going to ask you about one major change that actually happened in Europe Parliament um, in the last days. Um, it's, um, it's a recent approval of natural um, restoration law. And I would like to ask you, how are you preparing students f after graduating to maybe incorporate those new ideas into their future jobs? Um, so 
nature restoration has always been a merit uh, in our faculty, including river restoration, lake restoration, but the new law that has just been approved by the uh, European Parliament gives us a lot of hope and probably a lot of money will be devoted to this uh, area uh, because as you probably know we will be obliged to restore 20 percent of Europe's ecosystems which means that what we teach students to investigate what is the condition of ecosystems how to monitor them and how to improve them will actually be very likely to be uh, put into practice so this is a very um, emergent event but is is giving us a lot of hope that the skills of our students will be even more needed than they are already now. Mm, so, except for this um, this subject, um, what would you recommend to to be after the graduation? What are the career paths? Well. Our students are everywhere, <laughs> so their career can vary from um, national level government or local level. Uh, a lot of them ended up in uh, NGOs like uh, WWF or many other smaller organizations which uh, combine those social aspects and they work for, uh, for the communities. Uh, and a lot of them also decided to pursue scientific career and we have multiple uh, environmental protection graduates who decided to uh, start a PhD and some of them even finished which is even more important. Um, so I'm, um, I'm assuming that because of it's uh, in English right it's, it's English course um, I'm assuming that you are working with a lot of students from abroad from all over the world and how do you find this experience how also do you see your students uh, cooperating with each other mm -hmm. as teammates so I, I've always loved cultural differences so I've always perceived it as a virtue, as a, as a challenge, of course. And for our students, it's also a great possibility to learn tolerance, to uh, adapt to others' views and, and needs. And um, I think I would have like dozens of very interesting stories how this actually benefits both our students and international students. Uh, so it's a great experience for both groups. Although it's challenging for the teachers, of course. But it sounds very interdisciplinary and, yes. and honestly gorgeous. And I would be encouraged to apply. And unfortunately, I can't. Anymore. <laughs> Anymore, yes. Actually, it's it's master's degree, right? It is a master's degree and it's uh, possible to... Um, apply for a master's degree even if you graduated from another but related faculty. So that's why I would say that environmental protection has this holistic approach that it does allow you to pursue your interest in uh, environment in general. So there is still a chance for me. I will think about it. Uh, thank you so much for sharing the information with us. And thank you uh, for staying with us. And I hope that you will um, get your chance and apply to us. I hope we will see you um, next year on our campus. Thank you. Thank you so much.